Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're going to be looking at the maximum achievable sustainable altitude, otherwise known as service ceiling. Now I don't know which plane is going to give the best service ceiling, so we're going to try the F-15, we're going to try the F-18, the SU-27, the MiG-29 and the Mirage. I don't know enough about aerodynamics to know what it is in an aeroplane that gives a good maximum ceiling. I presume it's somewhere between, it's something where between power to weight ratio and wing loading and overall configuration for high altitude. I don't really know. Uh, you guys let me know what is most important. So we're gonna try our best to find out. My prediction is that the SU-27 will be best. I know it creates the most lift, general lift out of all these aircraft and still has a decent power to weight ratio. So we'll just have to see. There are official figures for service ceilings for all these aircraft if you look in Wikipedia or books or whatever. I'm expecting our figures that we find today to be a little bit higher because we can push it to the limit because this is a game and it's not real. And what I can do is I can optimize my aircraft. Not only am I gonna have no external payload, but also I'm gonna have absolute minimum fuel. I'm gonna be joker fuel when I'm doing the test to make sure our aircraft is an absolute minimum configuration. Obviously, the heavier, the more fuel we've got in, the heavier bird is, is gonna be, the higher angle of attack it's gonna be, the higher drag coefficient it's gonna be, and whatnot. So we're gonna run it right down to the limit, uh, but still be sustainable for, I don't know, 20 or 30 miles plus. Regards measuring the altitude, we've got different ways we can take the altitude. We've got a barometric meter there in feet, but I'm gonna go by our GPS. So you can see at the bottom here, this is our uh, it's essentially our GPS is 100% accurate measurement here. You see I'm currently at 66 feet. The only other thing I want to point out is that to keep this test as fair as we can, we're going to keep the Q&H, the air pressure, at a standard 29.92 inches mercury. We don't want to mess around with that. What we could do is increase the air pressure and I believe then we will both be able to get higher altitudes out of these aircraft, but it's a bit cheating obviously. And we're also going for a standard 20 degrees centigrade metric at sea level as well so we're keeping everything as that as standard as we can to create a fair test so first we'll take up the f-15 we'll burn some fuel off and else we'll see how high we can get okay we're up in the air now we're at uh, just over 60,000 feet we are approaching joker fuel so let's see how high we can get now and sustain right that is definitely our absolute maximum i've tried above this i've tried below this um, if I go any higher than this, we will just lose speed and it will slowly go into a stall. If we go below, we can very slowly gain speed. So we've got our optimal there of, uh, let me turn my bar, status bar on. Oh, well, uh, we've got 71,120. So let me write that down. And that is the F-15. So that's a damn good start, 71,000. Indicated on barometric gauge here, what is that, 65,200 feet. And fuel was, yeah, fuel was just over 1,000 pounds. So we're not going to get much better than that. Let's go and try the next plane. Okay, we're in our MiG-29 now. We've got just approaching one tonne of fuel. We're at 56,000 feet and climbing rapidly. So we should get a decent service ceiling record out of this, fingers crossed. Okay, I've been all the way between 75,000 and kind of 60,000. And the most I can actually sustain is what I'm doing now. In fact, it's gonna stall again. It's basically mm, between 63 and 64,000. Going up again now and I'm just gonna stall again actually scratch that it's a little bit lower there's about six sixty thousand five hundred feet sixty and a half thousand feet any and it oh, oh, i'm completely topped out of my trim and i'm pulling the stick back quite hard any higher than that and she starts to stall and just start to sink down if you go lower you can get a little bit of speed back so absolute max with everything maxed out super low fuel on the edge of constant stall um, it's I'm doing 60,500 feet and I feel like I'm burning no fuel at all so I feel like I could do this at full power for probably I don't know 100 plus miles probably in fact it'll tell me down there mm, well it says 23 kilometers but I don't think that's right I think it's going to keep going for a lot longer than that uh, anyway so I'm going to put that down as the max sustainable of the MiG of 60,500 feet right let's go and try the next bird Okay, we're in the flanker now. I'm expecting big things from this. We're currently at 57,000 feet and climbing nicely. Let's see how far we can get. Okay, I think we're there. I can't get any higher without us starting to stall. In fact, you can see it's literally, we're just ticking on the extra foot every now and then. So that is sustainable. In fact, let's just give it a little uh, extra to make sure. Yep, definitely sustainable. So we've got for the flanker 72, that's really impressive. I knew that was going to be good. 72,000 and for let's say 50 feet. So that's flanker 
that's really impressive. Uh, we were on Joker fuel, about 900, 800 kilos of gas, so we're not going to get much better than that. And it feels like she can fly for, I don't know, like 100 miles or something. Let's check. Uh, we don't have a predictor here, do we? So, yeah, it feels like it's definitely sus sustainable. Right, let's move on to the next bird. Okay, we're in the Hornet now. I don't hold much hope for this bird, although it's got lovely big straight wings, which should be good for this. I find the engines are much more configured for low altitude very good in tight turns and whatnot i don't think she's going to be very good at high altitude just stand by as uh, i get a setup right i can't get any higher than this if i go any higher than this the alpha just starts to go above seven degrees and i just start to get slower and slower so this is absolutely topping it out i'm not even sure it can really maintain this to be honest but we've got 58,250 for the hornet right let's try the next plane Okay, we're in the Mirage now. I'm not expecting particularly good things from this because it's got one pretty puny engine to be honest. I have no idea what that warning is, so if you ever get a warning, just press it and hope for the best, I find. Right, so uh, power on, increasing speed now. Altitude's going to go up. Regards fuel. We've got, uh, what, 890 remaining, so let's give it a shot. Ah. We appear to have destroyed our engine. That's weird. Well, let's try that again. I'm not sure what that was. Maybe just in a compressor stall because we were going so high. Okay, so we've reached 60... We're just about to hit 65,000. Mach 1.96, which is pretty ridiculous. In fact, it seems actually pretty unrealistic, but... We'll go with it. Six thousand, sixty-seven thousand, and the engine's out. So at some point, about sixty-six thousand, the engine cuts out. I've no idea why. I'm not much of a Mirage pilot. If I'm doing anything obviously wrong, please let me know. But um, for all intents and purposes, I've got it up to sixty-six thousand before the engine keeps cutting out. That's the Mirage. And for some reason, it's really, really fast at this altitude, much faster than the others were. I don't know why that is. It didn't really feel right, to be honest. But that's just my findings so far. Let me know if you have any further... Yeah, 1,200 at 67,000. 1,200 knots doesn't seem right to me. Let me know if you have any further thoughts on that. But that's the best I can do at the moment until I find a problem, uh, uh, solution for that. So we've got the final figures. We've got the Hornet is the least, the lowest. And it, the, the most I could get out, out of it was 58,000 feet, 250. If you go higher, then she uh, angle of attack starts to take over. And um, you just can't sustain it. Remember, we're looking for sustainable speed here that we can sustain essentially indefinitely or until the fuel runs out, you know, for 20 to 30, 50 miles, something like that. I know you can go much higher in small bursts or in quick climbs, but it's not really a uh, service ceiling. Uh, next, we have the Fulcrum, which could do 60,500 feet. Next, we had the F-15, which could do, sorry, the Mirage, which could do 66,000, and then the engine just explodes for reasons I don't understand. Then we have F-15 at 71,150 feet, which is pretty amazing, way above what it should be able to do as far as I'm aware, uh, but that's pretty cool. And again, remember that we're in super duper unrealistic configuration at the moment. And then we have the Flanker, the Almighty, and did I or did I not guess it was going to be the best? Uh, it was at 72,050 feet before we just could not sustain the angle of attack any further. So that's all I can think of doing that. I can't think of any way of improving this. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.